might explain that? Um, yeah, I guess it was an entirely different game. Um, I think some of their scoring kind of came from a different place. Uh, typically, I guess Michaela Shaw uh, takes a lot of, um, I guess, carries a lot of the scoring weight. And this time it was kind of more from outside. Um, yeah, and I guess for us, um, defensively, um, their actions gave us a little bit of trouble early on. But I think around halftime, uh, second quarter, we kind of made some adjustments that were uh, key to us pulling away. Almost that point too. Uh, almost, almost a different game from Wednesday with the you know, Wednesday with the bigs outside. Now everybody kind of got involved. Was that nice to see everybody kind of pick it up again? Yeah, it was. That's why I said to Fog on the bench. I said it's really good to see our guards, all of them, step up and do really, really big things and really good things. And you know, from here on out, it's going to take a team effort to grind out wins, and uh, and we need everybody to do that. So it was really good to see them step up today and take care of business. So. Uh, you had a double-double in your last game at home. How does that feel to just represent your last game? That's pretty awesome. I guess I didn't know that. <laughs> but um, no, that's good. Honestly, it's just it's so, so awesome to be a part of a home crowd like this and to have that kind of support. Um, yeah, it's just incredible. And I'm so thankful for everyone who comes out and supports us. Bridget, not to make you cry or anything. <laughs> Not guaranteeing anything. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, does that sense kind of set in that you know everything is kind of the last now? Yeah. Last home game, last this or that. Yeah, it does. Um, really, the whole week. Actually, no, not even the whole week. I'll be honest. The whole since about January, I've just been thinking about it a lot, and it's really set in that this is it. And you know, I I look to our crowd for one, and I just think how how fortunate I am to have had four years of playing for this crowd. And then I look to our coaching staff, previous and present, and we're really, we're just really fortunate. And that, that part's hard for me to, to let go, but I'm not really gonna let go of it quite yet. We're going to, we're going to hold on for a little bit longer. So um, I just can't, I can't thank people enough. I can't thank um, you guys enough. Just everybody following USD Athletics. We are, we are really fortunate here. So. Kelsey, what's it been like to be a part of this for a while here? Um, it's been a lot of fun. Like from volleyball and basketball, they're two completely different things. And just seeing how much each each of them play for each other and how much they loved each other, like it was so easy just coming in and being part of the team. And I've loved every second of it. So. Well, for anyone, you guys, uh, you know, you control your own destiny now for the summer league crown with two games here. Um, so obviously your senior year, the end of the year, that's your goal probably is, you know, some league crown. So now that you can grasp, you know, what will it take to, you know, you know, win those two road games here? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, it takes a lot coming down the stretch. We're just going to have to absolutely stay focused and, you know, just keep grinding out, keep working hard, you know, keep going into the gym and getting extra shots up and keep putting in that extra work that gets kind of harder as the season goes on. And I'd say probably from here on out, um, games are won with defense. So if, if you want to win, you have to really lock down on defense, no personnel, and rebound. Winning the rebounding war is going to be huge. And uh, I, think, I think everybody's bought into the process of what it's going to take to, to accomplish something. And I'm, I'm really excited for each and every one of those girls, the girls on our team, to step up and do big things. Bridget, you go into next week, play against the team on the road that you're tied with. Um, how does the team or how do you view the, that challenge going in at this point in the season knowing that you know, you've got this opportunity now? Yeah, um, I think honestly I think we're, we're looking at IUPUI now. Um, we haven't even thought anything about Western Illinois. Um, you know, the, the writing's on the wall, but yet if, if you just stick with the process and stick with one game at a time, and one possession at a time, because you, know, you can't really overlook anything otherwise uh, you might not like like the outcome, but no, we're going to do what we've been doing all year, and that's just taking one day, really getting better each day in practice and uh, and looking for for the next opportunity to become better. So, overall, I thought our kids played a very good basketball game. We offensively got some very good shots, shared the basketball. I think had eight assists in the first quarter 
Offensively, we're doing some very good things, moving the ball, making the easy pass, finding open shooters and knocking down shots. I thought defensively against, I thought Omaha, just like Oral Roberts in the first quarter, really took advantage of, of situations against us. We weren't doing a really good job getting ball pressure on Daprich. She stuck a couple shots. Uh, they, they did a really nice job in the first half scoring the basketball against us. I thought our kids did a good job in the second half of making some adjustments, making some of those shots a little bit tougher, and that helped us separate. So two games in a row that our defense has gotten better at the end of the game, and that's good to see. Don, you had uh, scored 60 points against these guys, and you had 60 with seven minutes left in the third quarter. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. What, what were some of the things that were different? Well, I thought we did a better job passing in this game and, and seeing – Get, once the ball started moving against their zone, we started getting some better looks. And at their place, I thought we got good shots. We didn't make them, but I thought tonight we got better shots than we did at their place. Is the team progressing? It? I mean, we've seen zone defenses this week. Is the team progressing in dealing with that? Do you think? I think our team is becoming a better passing team right now against a man or against a zone, and and that's really important for us, especially with how. Teams, if they're in a man, how they're guarding us, you know, finding the open kids really important against Oral Roberts. The open kids were our post kids on the perimeter, and they knock down shots in this type of a game. You know, it was you don't necessarily know where that kid's always going to be, but if you keep the ball moving, we usually found a kid that was pretty wide open. Is that nice to see compared to Wednesday, where it was maybe the bigs that were that had the open shots, and then today kind of get back to the uh, almost flipped around a little bit. Yeah, I think what's really fun for our kids is is watching them enjoy each other having success and if you look at our bench and the kids that are on the court what I'm really proud of this group is that they they get excited to see their teammates do well and that's that's a really neat thing Well, and Abby, I thought, played very good basketball. I thought Bridget's played really good basketball. What I'm really excited for them is how their senior year is going. They're having a great senior year, and they've both had a tremendous week, their last week at home, last two home games, I think, have played extremely well. And, and that doesn't always happen. Sometimes when you want something to happen so bad, it, it's harder to make it happen. And I think they've approached it with let's get after it with a great attitude, but also maintain their sense of being loose and having fun while playing, and it's helped them to play well. Can you see that sense of urgency in them too, those two seniors? They probably realize everything can last. Well. Absolutely. And I don't know how they did in the interviews, but I'm sure you sense that from Bridget when if you talk to her after the Thursday night game. You know, here's a kid that – you know, leaving the locker room is, is is crying because this place means so much to her. Being a part of the program means so much to her that that you don't really know how that's going to translate out onto the court. But they do. They they're putting so much time and, and effort into it. Abby's always the kid that's sticking around and getting up extra shots. She wants to play well and finish out her career on high note. So just really proud of, of them for having that kind of demeanor and, and really igniting that energy within our group. Coach, you know, before the season, you know, SDSU is probably considered the favorite in the league. Yet here you are with two games left, kind of control your own destiny for the regular season crown, the top seed in the tournament. So how is it just kind of, you know, how do you approach these final two games and just what does it mean just to be in that position? Well, we have a team slogan, I guess, this year of always building, always believing. And, and in our locker room, we have a toolbox. And in our toolbox, each game, we put a tool in, in that box. And, and so that by the end of the year, our kids understand that by the, by the time we get to the Summit League tournament, the goal is to have all the tools in your toolbox that you need to play against anything that you see. And, and what's been great to, to see with this group is that there's something tangible for them to attach to in trusting the process and, and, and really continue to get better through the process. So we look at it as our, our kids have, right now have an opportunity to go on the road and play two teams in IUPUI and Western Illinois who are playing very good basketball. And certainly we're going to have to play our best basketball just to compete with them. Oh, the tools? Actual tools. Yep, Ace Hardware. We've spent some money at Ace Hardware this year, and they've donated some tools. It's actually been pretty funny. So we have some tools and some players and 
screwdrivers and I don't know, every level. Funny thing is that we're not even sure what all the tools are for, so we have to do a little research sometimes. Not really in my uh, ability to know what all those are, are, but it's been fun for our kids. You're sending some plumbers out into the world. We, we are, you know, the ARMS kids, probably know more than anyone. The Orange kids and Kate Living House, they're kind of in the, they understand construction and do a great job with it. So sometimes they educate us on what we're putting in the toolbox that day.